All right, what's on the bench? Um, I've never seen these before. Uh, I found them on AliExpress and uh, I have a project in mind that maybe could use them. So I kind of wanted to try them out. Uh, they have 500M marked on them and they are a 500 mega ohm resistor. But they're unusual construction. Look at that. They got little squigglies on the back side. Show you some close up pictures here. But uh, yeah, it's like a ceramic substrate. Some thin film deposited resistor with some type of uh, protective layer on top to keep moisture off of it, I suppose. But um, are they 500 mega ohms? So um, it's not easy to measure 500 mega ohms. <laughs> it's not. So let's go over here to a uh, uh, expensive multimeter and uh, we will set it to uh, ohms. There's some homage. Um, and I will connect the resistor and nothing. Yeah, th this, this, can you see it? Yeah, it's just nothing, right? So um, yeah, that one's not gonna work. And uh, my fancy Keithley 2015 ain't gonna work. And my Keith, uh, uh, Agilent Hewlett Packard uh, ain't gonna work, but that guy up there might. All right, um, this is a Keithley 160B, 160B. And uh, let's grab one of those resistors and stick it on here. And it's starting to do something. It's negative, which is kind of weird. I'm on mega ohms. And yeah, there we go. 300, 400 mega ohms, 430 mega ohms, 440 mega ohms, 450 mega ohms. And it looks like it's kind of, kind of settled out there at about four, 456 mega ohms. All right. This is a pretty fancy meter it goes down into nanoamps and stuff. So it's more of elect more of an electrometer, but it's a general purpose multimeter made back in the day. It's got all the stuff you would think. It just has some really wild ranges on it. So let's say that one is four. Let's say 460. We'll give it the benefit of the doubt. 460. Um, let's go ahead and um, probably shouldn't be touching it that way. Um, let's try a different meter here. All right, I kind of forgot I had this thing, um, but it dawned on me when I started testing this uh, thing. I said, I think I have something that measures high impedance or uh, high resistance. Uh, this is an insulation tester, I believe, but uh, it can output uh, 250, 500, and 1,000 volts, and it will measure mega ohm. As you can see, it's measuring mega ohm. So let's go ahead and take our device here and put it on its clip leads. And uh, let's uh, turn it on here, 250. There we go, oh, and it reset. That's kind of weird. Did it break down to, it goes to like five, 519, then kind of starts over. Let's go to 500 volts. Yeah, 500 volts, it's stable, 50. That's pretty accurate, 502, 503, yeah, look at that. Up and then it reset. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Will it do a thousand volts? Yeah, pretty darn close to 500 on this machine. All right, let's turn that off. All right, so I have one one machine that I trust, and we'll measure our the same resistor over on the other machine. So let's uh, let's get set up over there. Okay, this is a Keithley uh, 619 electrometer, a uh, very fancy, accurate machine, and uh, we will take our device, put it in the test test fixture here. Okay, I put it in the test fixture and I'll put the lid on top of it. So it's nice and shielded and, uh, oops. And then we can measure 
the ohms right there. Look at that. 498.7 mega ohms. Pretty darn close. So yeah, this thing is pretty close to 500 mega ohms. I haven't had this on camera very often, but I built a test fixture for it. It's just an old box, and uh, it has a triax connection, so it's a, a coax inside of a shield, and a very low noise and not, real. These are really expensive cables, um, and then I put the lid on it to do measurements to keep all the RF out of it, but. Uh, yeah, that's what we got going on, and we get uh, a pretty believable number. All right, uh, they will go in the box. I have a box of precision um, high ohmage. So this is a thousand mega ohms. This one's uh, this one's a hundred mega ohms. This one's four hundred mega ohms. Uh, I have some pretty wild, some pretty wild stuff. Like this one is a. Uh, uh, this one is one gig ohm, and uh, anyway, yeah, here's another wild one, 28.1 mega ohms. Anyway, I've got some fancy stuff back back when I was doing uh, transimpedance amplifiers for photodiodes. You needed some really, really high feedback resistors and stuff. So I'm going to put these. I'm going to put these in the box until I need them. I've got something coming in the mail today. I hope that's going to help me on that journey. So yeah, there we go. 500, uh, very strange 500 mega ohm resistors.